Hello and welcome to Tube Talk with D guys. Merry Christmas. I hope that everyone is enjoying their happy holidays, their holidays, their Christmas. Today is Christmas, so I hope everyone got what they wanted for Christmas. Thank you for joining Tube Talk with D. If you have not already, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel, you guys. I'm almost there at 1K subscribers. So let's get me there. And with that being said, let's jump on into hot topics. So, of course, you guys, I do owe you guys an explanation uh, for all of the Latrue info that I've been coming into, uh, all of the Latrue info and, and news that I've been dropping on you guys, I should elaborate. Here's what I want to talk about. So, it's getting messy. You see, I posted a video. So, it's getting messy with the Latrue right now as we speak. Um, she... This is the truth. Brianna Hampton. She claimed that she had um, a cease and desist against Robert Hampton, her former, uh, well, her soon-to-be ex-husband. Uh, she also said that she had a TPO um, against him as well. We all know that's a temporary protection order. Um, that's what she said on her live. Uh, as we know, a couple of days ago, and this is unfortunate around Christmas time, that this is happening around the holidays, you know, uh, uh, around a new year, around Christmas, with kids involved. Uh, but, uh, so, she said she had a cease and desist. She said that she had a um, temporary protective order against him. So, they recently just went to court. They did. And um, all of that was dismissed. I'm not calling Brianna a liar, but all of that was dismissed when they went to court just a couple of days ago. Um, very unfortunate. Um, there were claims that she was trying to keep him away from um, the little girl that they have together. Uh, all these ac accusations of her trying to persuade Mr. Latrue to adopt her three kids by another man, her previous kids for this relationship. And um, it's just so much that is going on with this. Him, from him having $84 in his bank account to him being a buying a sausage, this is all just at this point, when are you gonna be embarrassed? When are you gonna stop? Uh, you guys are going so fast, so tip for tat that it's a shame. This morning, on Christmas morning, Brianna posted to her story that she's not on anyone's time. You don't get to see the kids just for a photo op. Something of that nature. Not word for word, but it was something to that nature. Um, and just as she predicted, he had a video shoot with, with his daughter this morning of them in bed, which I thought was the cutest thing. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, you know, he has cameras rolling 24-7. That's what he said on the live yesterday, that that's what he does for a living. He's not going to go and get a real job. He's not going to go and he would... Uh, him having a fake job versus a hundred real jobs, he'd rather, ha rather have the one fake job. And that's what he said, because he said that you guys call content creators, uh, people, you classify them as people who have fake jobs. And, um, you know, hey, uh, I'm trying to be a content creator. Let me in on the fake job. I'm trying to be monetized. I think that's the whole point when you have a YouTube channel. I think uh, when you put your business out here as a celebrity, you give the bloggers and the content creators ammunition and bullets to fire off. I'm just keeping it real. But until then, 
I got to keep my day job, which by the way, I am on lunch break. So you guys make sure you hit that subscribe button today. And I just want to say Merry Christmas. On another note, I want to talk about the Baxters. How many of you guys follow the Baxters? I, um, I love and hate them at the same time. Uh, the Baxters are very interesting. I don't want to go into detail about what I really think is going on, but um, you guys let me know what you think is going on with the Bax uh, with the Baxters. Um, the Huckabooks, they seem to <laughs> they seem to have had the the greatest ghettoest christmas of all time this year they won the award for greatest ghettoest christmas of all time this year uh shout out to them they're still together deja's been fighting over him physically with another woman who um you know you gotta give it to deja she cute you know she's a cute young lady um but the other girl that mike was uh, allegedly involved with while they were going through their mar marital uh, issues uh, that Deja didn't like. Uh, she's kind of built like a Ford motor. So, you know, Deja really wasn't too worried about it, but they fought. They had a fight. So, um, I'm not going to post the fight. It really wasn't a fight. Uh, but she was live last night and y'all, the baby is here. The baby is growing up. So, uh, I will keep you guys informed and make sure that you guys hit the subscribe button. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Because I'm almost at 900. So uh, I want to say divide, divide, divide. But I, I don't, I don't, want, I don't want, I want you just to subscribe. But Merry Christmas, everybody. And thank you for tuning in. And this has been Tube Talk with D.